So in this quick video, I'm going to be giving you an honest review of Base44. If you're anything like me, you've probably been seeing these Base44 ads pop up everywhere and are wondering, is it actually good to build an AI app or a business? Well, that's what you're gonna figure out in this video and let's jump straight into the laptop to do this. So the very first thing I'm gonna be explaining is how to actually create a website and a backend for your app or your business or whatever you want to create um, because it really is as easy as turning an idea into an actual app in 2025 moving into 2026. It's ridiculous. It's a few words and you're literally there. Um, and then after that, I'm going to be discussing how it compares to Bolt.new, Lovable and other similar AI platforms that can create apps um, and just giving you the full rundown. So let's jump straight into it. Um, pretty much all of these platforms that create apps start with a little box, which you can see on screen, where you can basically just type your idea and describe the app you want to create. So in this case, I actually got ChatGPT to write me a prompt, which is a quick hack. Um, it's very easy, just put in your idea into ChatGPT and then get it to write a prompt specifically for um, like Base44 or Lovable. And you can see the, the app that we're gonna be building. I've already kind of done this just to speed it up, but I basically want an app that can turn any idea or keyword into 10 viral content uh, variants. So yeah, this would tailor to someone's niche platform and tone. And as you can see, I actually managed to create this within five minutes. Very, very easy. Um, and this is just an idea of what you can get Base44 to do. Um, and it's very simple in terms of, yeah, for example, someone could put in their idea. So for example, um, morning routines for founders or AI replacing jobs. And you would give it, yeah, your niche. So if we do this, we just do like AI replacing jobs. We put in here the niche. So let's say AI, we select the platform we want to create the content for. Let's do like Instagram Reels, tone, let's do authority. Goal is to educate, length, let's keep it snappy and click generate. And Base44 has been able to literally create this website and this backend within minutes. It is really, really powerful. Um, and it looks pretty clean in my opinion. Um, and this also comes with a user authentication. I'll be explaining how to do that. Um, but this is just an idea. You can obviously get any app that you want to create done in minutes. Um, so. Yeah, whilst we are getting that to load, I'll come back to that in 30 seconds. Um, let's just go through the actual UI of the homepage, which is what you can see on screen. Um, so you can see here that this is the prompt that I put in. Um, now, one important thing that's quite cool is you actually have different styling instructions here. So if you want a certain theme like this neo, I can't even pronounce that, brutalism, um, or whatever that is, then you can click on add style instructions and it's gonna have it in that theme if you want it in this one or these fancy words, you can do that. So you get some nice, you know, kind of UI um, examples right here. So use interface examples. And I think that's quite nice that I haven't really seen um, Lovable do, or maybe they do, but I haven't seen that. Um, and you obviously get explore templates from the community as well. So other people's ideas on what they've done, um, pretty simple. Once you actually click go, what's gonna happen is you'll be able to see your um, kind of assistant, which is Base44 and what it's doing on the back end. So you can see here that it's yeah, gone through the core features, it's gone through the, uh, the color palette, it's gone through the layout, all of these things you can see it will just load and then after let's say 30 seconds or 60 seconds, it would have created your preview section. Um, you can see this done a preview for laptop and also mobile, which is pretty sweet. And you can obviously click on this and go back and forth with things that you want to change. Now, one thing I really like about Base44 is the ability to do a visual edit. So you can see here at the bottom left, you can click on visual edit. And what this is gonna allow you to do is hand pick a very specific part of this to change. And think of it as like a editor basically. So you don't have to type this in and go back and forth if you want you know, this logo changing or this color changing. You can basically just select what you want. So let's take this kind of box and if we wanna change the color, you would just click on colors, background, and go for whichever one you want. So let's say we want like a yellow or kind of this color. I think that looks you know, quite cool. Um, and then you can just save it. Um, hopefully that works. And if it doesn't, you can just obviously use the text box, the text box as well. Um, so I think that's like a really cool thing, as you can see, it's changed it. So that is a very unique part of it. And as I said, you can just change whatever you want by typing in here if you don't want to use the visual edit. Um, but that is essentially how you would just go back and forth and make the changes you want. Um, now, when it comes to Base44 and what it has differently compared to like Lovable or Bolt.new is this dashboard tab right here. And you can see here that this allows you to essentially um, just go through the settings and just instead of using like Superbase, which you would have to do for Lovable, which I've had experience with, 
you can basically just go through here and you can do whatever you want. So you can run a security scan. Um, this is just like your overview. Um, you can invite users. So once you create it, just copy their link. And if you paste that into a new URL, you can see that, boom, you're going to get this and your friends can try it. Or you could just get, um, you know, random people to try it. But obviously you want to change the URL here to an actual domain, which I'll explain how to do in two seconds. Um, so that's just quite a cool thing that you have the dashboard so users you can actually see who's signed up so for example i actually um yeah signed up with that email and you know it's got it right there instead of it being like on superbase or firebase or these other kind of third party data platforms which i think is really cool is to just have it inside the actual like base 44 dashboard right here instead of another platform i like that element of base 44, base 44 compared to like lovable and so forth um obviously data you can see the analytics, which is also really cool. You can actually see how many like visits your page has had. Um, so unique visitors is how many like individual um, people or separate people have gone on it. And obviously this is like the total amount of visits. So you can see I've gone back and forth quite a few times uh, just having some fun with it. But domains is actually where you connect to domains. As you can see right here, you don't want this long domain. It doesn't look very professional. Um, we would want something like ideaalchemy.com that would probably be too expensive but you get the point um, you can very easily just uh, buy a domain inside base 44 um, or i believe you can actually connect your domain to this app but you may have to upgrade to the 50 dollars a month plan whereas lovable is around 20 dollars per month um, but you can do that pretty easily and at the end of the day it's still pennies compared to what you would have to pay to hire a developer to do all of this and this is all no code so if you click view plans um, I believe it is the like this one where you can connect domains, so 50 bucks a month, which is what I said. Um, but you can obviously get started on the free plan, and I'll go through the planning, uh, sorry, the plans in a second. So definitely keep watching security. That's pretty self-explanatory. You can just do security checks, code. If you're a developer, you can get them to do code. Um, and yeah, same with agents. I believe you can put an actual AI agent. Um, on the website. I haven't tried this. I assume this is what this is, um, but maybe we could do that in a separate video. And obviously yeah, API settings, all of these fun stuff you can do. Um, now, when it comes to user authentication, so what I mean by that is if you wanna send people your link, and you can see here that we actually did create the um, content scripts, which is really cool from earlier. Um, that's like pretty sick that you've been able to, or I've been able to create an app just in minutes. Um, but going back here, um, if you wanna create an actual like user authentication. So when you send people this link, what's going to happen is it's going to ask them to log in. You can very easily just, um, yeah, say like, please create, if we go right here, please create a user authentication. Let's just make sure the spelling's correct. And what it is probably going to ask me to do is go onto the back end settings and it will actually give you a link to do that um, right here, I believe. So it's just thinking, and keep watching because I want to explain how the pricing compares to like uh, Lovable and Bolt.new, which is pretty interesting because it does, you know, have some different things to it. Um, so you can see here that, yeah, it's just asked a few questions. Like, would you like a user profile section so they can show their saved ideas count um, and all of this jazz? So you can just go back and forth and, and do it. But I do think you need to be on the $20, month, uh, dollar, oh, sorry, $20 uh, a month plan or the $50 a month plan for this to actually yeah, work. Um, but yeah, it, it's pretty simple. And obviously once you are happy with everything, you can just publish the app um, and obviously make sure you have a domain connected to it, which I explained. And yeah, if you wanted to integrate, if you wanted to integrate Stripe, it would probably be a little bit more confusing. Um, what I believe you would have to do is if you actually go into base 44, they do actually have an integrations tab right here. Um, but I believe you need to be on the right plan to get Stripe, um, but you can also, as I said, use this and just ask it, like, how do I connect Stripe to um, the back end? So if you want to get people to pay 10 bucks a month or 50 bucks a month for this, um, you could obviously do that right here. And maybe I'll cover that in a separate video once I've done some more digging on it. But this is just my like first impressions and what I'm getting um, an idea from, from the platform. So let's jump into pricing. So what I've done is actually created a side-by-side -side comparison. So we have base 44, we have bolt.new, and then we have lovable. Um, so for base 44's free plan, you can see you get 25 messages per, uh, per month. So what that means is you can go back and forth and do 25 messages. It's really as simple as that. So you can go back and forth 25 times. You could make 25, um, just if we go here, 25 like messages like this, 
So you could do 25 new websites, um, or you could just do one website, but with 25 back and forth to make it really good. And that is what you get per month on the free plan. Compared to Bolt.new, you get 1 million tokens per month. Now this confused me a bit because like how much usage do you get for that? How many back and forths can you go? And it's not that simple. For example, you could do like a, uh, you know, a search like this for the app you want to create, and that could be like 10,000 tokens. Or if you wanted to build like a backend um, using like Stripe, it could be 100,000 tokens. So it's a bit unclear, but from my research, 1 million tokens is probably a week's worth of like going back and forth with basically. You can get a week's worth of like usage out of Bold.new for the free plan. Um, and then Lovable is five daily credits. So very similar to the messages, but you just get five of them basically. And I think that's how that works. And then obviously for the entry tier, we have $20 a month for base 44, and that gets you 100 messages. Bold.new is $20 a month, and that gets you 10 million tokens. Um, so let's say like a month or two of going back and forth, and then $25 a month gets you 150 uh, monthly credits. So all very, very similar. Doesn't really matter in terms of like, the, yeah, there's not too much difference is what I'm trying to say. You can see how they've gone for the similar pricing. Um, obviously it does get a bit different in the mid tiers and then on the premium tiers. Um, but in my opinion, the best use case for Base44 is someone who has like no experience with like no code platforms like this and they just want to get a website and you know idea out there as soon as possible and they can just you know connect a domain start it using the freemium model which is where you have your SaaS or app as a free kind of pricing to collect data then you can upsell people via email newsletter and things like that that's what I would do or you could connect Stripe in here but it's very simple it's not too difficult and I think that is the best use case for someone just starting out with no experience whatsoever they just want to get stuck in and get an idea out there so they can you know test market fit and things like that I think base 44 is a pretty valid option I think lovable is a bit more uh, I think it's got a bit more capabilities but it's still quite beginner focused um, you'd need a dev if you want to actually build a proper SaaS, but this is a great way just to validate um, the demand in the market, and I think that's what everyone should be doing. Um, so yeah, that pretty much brings us to the end of this video. If you do want me to go a lot further than this and actually create a no-code SaaS or a micro SaaS or a micro app, I'm more than happy to do that in a longer video. Maybe we'll make it like an hour, two hours long, and it'll just be me kind of doing it if you want that. Let me know in the comments because um, I think that would be pretty useful, but I obviously want to make sure you guys want to see it. And yeah, take it easy. Definitely subscribe if you yeah, want more content like this. And I'll catch you in the next video. Here are some more videos you can watch right now.